unlike with storm ignition supercells, which we've seen in the past and we'll see more in the future, Hello and welcome to this satellite image analysis here on the 17th, December 2023 on the Wetter Adler channel. Shortly before Christmas, the snow that has fallen all over the place is melting away once more. Oh, wonder. And the survey we just published is not published without any specific reason. I am very happy that most people are doing well and that they are not sick. However, we have heard from many sources and some naturopaths that quite a lot of people are currently sick. Every other second, which is of course unpleasant. Some statements compared it to the severity experienced during the pandemic. And naturally, the timing of these actions is always selected, as I refer to them, when the immune system is already in a significantly weakened state, so to speak. If you don't take the appropriate supplements, the classic one being vitamin D3 and so on, which strengthen the immune system, and the sun is also very low, which means we all get very little sunlight anyway, you can see that in the former corona course curves, the infection rates and so on were always very low in summer. That's why everything is not a coincidence here, hence the survey. But I'm glad it turned out well, so to speak. And now let's go back to the main topic. And we're here on windy.com, comma, we all know that already. And right now we are dealing with a high pressure area here in Europe, which of course ensures that we have clear blue skies, so to speak. Places here, Nuremberg and so on, Prague and Vienna, Austria and parts of France, Spain, relatively with blue skies. We have several veils there from the particle plasma in the atmosphere of the chemtrails, these white layers. And otherwise we can also see, if we switch here to the temperature map and then go to three kilometers, then we have this right turning high pressure area here. But of course we can also look at the wind map where we can see the whole thing, that we have this right jet, and here at the jet stream, it is happily turned again with a high probability of moisture, which we can also take a look at. That means here on five kilometers, if we go to seven kilometers, then with the upper atmospheric layers and on almost all levels, we see the right turning high pressure area, which simply does not leave any room for the water here. Therefore high pressure area, lots of air, little space for water to form clouds, However, that does not prevent us from having these veils, so to speak, on the lower levels present in this particular area. I'll go ahead here a bit. That will be fine again when the sun has risen. We are here now at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. This is the entire thing we see here in northern Germany and in most of Poland. These are the lower cloud layers, where we often see they are associated with frequencies. We can still see a little bit of something here in Great Britain. Here you can see how scalar interferometry affects this particle, this sunken particle plasma, the derivatives, the barium titanate crystal, and then forms this lower flying cloud layer here. You can also see the interferences here. That means that doesn't have much to do with waves anymore. This zigzag pattern, these are all different frequency patterns that overlap with each other, so to speak. And despite the high pressure region, this firmly attached cloud cover, as we have referred to it in previous instances, is causing it. And here to the south near Salzburg, Munich, you can still see some of these fresh chemtrails that are being spread here, which lay the foundation for modern weather, so to speak. And now we're already transitioning to Turkey. I'll simply hop over there for a moment. Great country, there it is. And there we can also see it is currently mostly cloudy at the moment. I'll go here to the 12 hour view. And unfortunately, we have a bit of loss of quality on the right side here. If we go where the sun rises, let's say here, then we see that the recording at Windy is quite blurry. Sometimes it's very exciting, especially when there are special activities to see. Then it's the case that Windy receives data from the satellite operators at that time. You can see it down here on the bottom right. In this case, it's now Umitsat and Nowcast. Nowcast mainly for lightning. You can also show the flashes. And sometimes when it is really exciting, you really have to handle a loss of quality here. It is quite a coincidence. However, we are not particularly interested in this card at the moment, and we want to change to the weather radar. And that is where it becomes exciting. As I mentioned, we have already received one or two emails. We can also participate in the complete thing. The complete thing is now functioning as a precipitation radar. These are essentially the radar beams that are emitted by the weather radars. Here you can also see a little bit that they are active. If you go back here, up here, Gadwan shines out. 
pulses out also here again so pulsating phase controlled radar beams and we have not yet marked the radars here in the case of turkey on this map but turkey is also covered with doppler radars that have not been included in the visualization However, in this case, in our opinion, they are very unlikely to be responsible for the fact that we have this fractal pattern here, because what we see here is, so to speak, a precipitation radar. This implies that the radars emit frequencies predominantly in the range of 5 gigahertz. This must be a resonance frequency of a water molecule, so one can measure the water in the atmosphere. You need a transmitter, a receiver, and to measure water in the atmosphere, you also need a frequency corresponding to water in the air and at a certain particle size, at a certain cluster size, so to speak, the moisture is then received by the radar. What's exciting now is why this fractal pattern is also displayed here. Because we can see it's stationary, meaning it doesn't move, and has not much to do with the actual moisture that moves across the country. That means, what is it now? Quite honestly, we don't know yet, but what stands out is, especially when compared to other maps, let's make it smaller, it does remind us a lot of national borders, namely federal states. We've now checked NASA Worldview here, because on Google Maps you didn't find much. And so we have oriented ourselves here at the top to sign up, and I've looked there, okay, where do we find this structure again? And there is no mountain, no nothing, no road, no river either. However, what is here, and we saw this on NASA Worldview, we have this national border here. It descends here, then it turns right around, there we have this curve, then it descends again until Alazuki, and we can also show that here, and it should be located somewhere here. Continue a little more in that direction, then take a right at that spot. That means it fits together, and we have now accomplished that for the area. Then it continues here all the way to Hachikai, and then proceeds north and descends to the right simultaneously. And that is exactly what we find here as well. There is the place Hachikai, or Sai, and then it goes up and then it goes down. That means the national borders somehow run there, if I'm not mistaken. And I would simply inquire at this moment, if you have the inclination and availability, since this is undoubtedly a task at hand, to examine the satellite images, what additional maps are available? And we have quite a lot of maps here on NASA Worldview, so just go in and add a layer, for example, and then you can see, I've already done a bit, then you can see that we have different options here. We experience storms, fires, and aerosol indexes in this area. There is a map available for reference. There are very, very many cards, up to smoke plumes, vegetation, above the ground, biomass above the ground, and so on. That means here you can actually click through and see which cards generate this pattern that we observe on the weather radar, on the precipitation radar, providing valuable insights into the data. Because what is actually being measured here is the humidity, that is the water molecule density, and strangely enough it is now linked to the national borders at this moment. That would be the question now. Here too you can see that we have this Y here. So here is the curve, and then it goes down here, and we have exactly the same thing here too. This is also the only country. So here everywhere else it works quite well. I mean Turkey is also currently a geopolitical hub, where we don't focus so much on this channel. But this pattern is already very noticeable and somehow it appears to have less to do with the radar beams themselves. In contrast to storm ignitions, supercells which we have previously witnessed and will witness even more in the future, we are encountering a fractal pattern in this case and the country borders are the closest to it. That's it. Feel free to have a look and if anyone has gained any insights into what this entire thing could be, they can contact us at info at wetteradler.eu and share their information with us. In that sense, I wish you a pleasant Sunday and see you soon. Goodbye.